Um, so really proud to, to be here and to present you one of our latest Drupal and video stream projects. Uh, we, this is Kai, Nikolai and me, and we're working for T-Systems Multimedia Solutions in Dresden, Germany. And there we are part of an awesome cross-functional team of software developers and architect, architects, uh, consultants and project managers. And with all these different skill sets in one place, we're involved in a wide spectrum of topics in the area of the work. For example, change and adoption, um, conversational interfaces, and of course, enterprise video streaming. Um, so, and now, as you know who we are, I will uh, send over to, to Kai, who will tell you uh, why you should forget YouTube um, and how we combine um, Drupal and our video streaming, and, uh, video streaming uh, expertise. So yeah, hi. Um, yeah, let's start with the with the challenge, with the idea of the project. Um, so we had uh, we had some um, requests from the customer. There was, of course, like typical project, some requirements, but not all. They just want to see how it is going to be, um, how it can look like. So that means we need to start fast. We uh, want to make some progress and then we want to show all the results to the customer and develop a, yeah, a good platform that fits all the needs and um, see how it is working, maybe do another cycle of that. Um, at least we need, um, the goal was uh, to, to develop an enterprise video uh, on demand platform that is accessible from the internal network and the internet. So maybe this is a special need for this customer, but this was priority number one. Um, of course, the, the platform must be uh, uh, state of the art, so responsive and, and all stuff like that, I guess you, you all know that. And lots of third party services must be connected and also our platform needs to be included into other um, platforms like e-learning systems. They want to use the videos in their e-learning uh, systems and they have quite a lot of this. And yeah, at least user management should be included. So therefore, um, we uh, thought about what to use and we came to Drupal. Also, of course, of these two guys, they are our Drupal developers. and. Let's have a look to the high-level architecture. <coughs> yeah, that's just simple scheme um, to give you a uh, high-level view of how the things are going and how we decided to, to um, manage these problems. Um, you can see we have um, these uh, two uh, sites. On the, one, uh, on the one hand, the internet connection, and the other side, the internal network of the customer. Um, both are um, accessing our application through a load balancer within the um, Open Telecom Cloud. That's the big part in the middle. Of course, the application is the, is the Drupal application that is um, built on the base of Kubernetes um, with a DB connected, uh, database connected, and um, Drupal acts as the, yeah, maybe let's say the management system for all the video files. Therefore, we have just this um, external storage. This is mounted via NFS share. Um, <coughs> all content um, is yeah, saved on this storage for maybe two reasons. One is, of course, lots of files. Others is um, we need the, the whole Kubernetes cluster to have access on it. And the last one is that the streaming server that um, will have to stream all the video chunks to the users um, needs also at least reading access to the storage. Um, um, one of the third party services uh, is uh, on the right side, on the left side <laughs> from your point of view, um, the encoding service. So we, we get the original video files from the users store them uh, on our storage, but also send them back to the encoding services um, for uh, current 
code implementation. This is uh, the Azure, Azure Media Services. And we will get the results back, the encoded files, and save them again in our network. Yeah. Let's have a look at the key features. Um, I did a little, uh, a little a screencast for you, so um, to show you um, some just some basic features. Um, at least you have the view with some channels. There you can divide the the content. Um, each channel can have several videos, and at least um, we have the, for the editors that are authenticated um, a list of videos that are already in the system and are created. Um, as an example, I would just uh, create a video, just uh, add the title, drop the video file over here, uh, upload it, and um, select the language for that. Because our platform is multilingual and you can also store uh, for each language uh, several or as a for every uh, language a single video. Yep. If you have saved this once, then in the background the encoding process uh, starts running and you can keep uh, editing the, the video, add some content, add some categories, and also <coughs> add some um, chapters. Chapters are yeah, interesting for most of our customers because they, they won't um, just point to one time slot at the video and don't want the users to, to watch a whole uh, video of one hour if they have some important information just at the end. Um, um, already if the, the video is not really um, encoded yet, you can still watch the preview. This is um, available um, right at the beginning. You can test if your chapters are working, if everything is fine, um, and also jump around um, within this uh, uh, yeah, time slot of the video. If everything works as expected, of course, um, go on with the workflow, um, edit the video and publish it for all your users. Um, and here you can also start embedding this video into other uh, sites. Uh, you, you can see um, the video is already queued for the encoding service, so um, there's also the, the feedback for the editor. Something is happening in the background. Everything works as expected till now. Everything's good. So, what's next? Yeah. Here you can see, um, for example, the embed code um, to include this video into learning, uh, learn management systems or other e-learning platforms or uh, whatever you want. And you will also get, if the video is ready encoded, um, some direct links to the manifests of the video. And this was a special um, use case for our customer. Um, yeah, now the first thumbnail is already generated. Um, so you can also choose between, I guess the, the basic configuration is uh, between 10 thumbnails. Um, you will get the video in uh, three different qualities if your encoding is ready. And um, let's go to the next slide, I think. Yes, um, additional, additionally one thing, uh, we had some um, features that need uh, whitelisting for our customer, that means um, I talked about embedding to other uh, platforms. They just want their videos within their platforms. They don't want the users to, to take the videos out uh, and publish them in the whole internet. So we need to implement whitelisting for, for referrers and also for um, internal IPs so that uh, employees from the internal network do not uh, need to authenticate. Okay. So, um, but what about the competitor's view? Um, the question is, why do we need to implement uh, all these features? These are only basic features um, uh, from the beginning. Um, and here we have some of the reasons. We just tell a look what is possible. There are lots of products on the market, but um, nearly none of them is um, 
possible to serve videos to internal networks and to the internet. Either you choose one of both, but never the, you, you got never a product which can do both of these. Um, also, we need some uh, really flexible flexibility of the API. That means um, all of the content types uh, within our platform must be uh, accessible via API. Um, there must be uh, um, uh, the possibility to, to maintain all the um, content yeah, via this API. Um, additionally, we choose the Trooper solution because of the wide range of uh, add-ons and the customer specific features. Um, not all of the features are completely clear at the beginning of the project and so we are um, flexible enough to add these add-ons later on. And at least uh, we are from Germany so uh, security of the data <laughs> is still one big point and um, our customer wants to have the access to the data. They want, don't want to have the data um, outside of his own uh, cloud. So this was the short introduction into features. We can of course speak later on if you have uh, interesting ideas or any additional questions. And um, Nikolai will go on with our vision. Yeah. Yes, with the last uh, maybe interesting part, what is uh, what is the feature of that with, that we built? Uh, what is uh, yeah? What is the, our vision? Uh, where we should go from now on? Uh, we did an MVP uh, with the most basic. Uh, well, like uh, we take a customer project and said, okay, we will do, do an MVP. We wanted to see if Drupal is the uh, right way to go, the right uh, solution for this. And we said, yeah, it, it is. We saw that it is, but we have a long way to go. And the first thing we did, we thought, okay, we used uh, for the implementation, we used uh, one of the most flexible and powerful uh, content management frameworks out there, and open source. And we said, okay, we love Drupal, we love open source, we want to give back something for the, to the community, and our vision is to do this as uh, some other Drupal uh, distributions are already doing it, and our vision is to make, uh, uh, divide this uh, functionality in two layers to have a Drupal distribution uh, at, at the basis where we provide the most important functionalities that we have here. Uh, so this will be uh, available on Drupal.org and we will have here the basic configuration of the things that we saw uh, right now like uh, content types, fields, uh, um, like a uh, uh, base team, uh, things like this. Also the video content management, user management that we have from uh, Drupal uh, core of course and also the abilities to add subtitles, to add uh, chapters to the videos, also to have uh, the channel possibilities and some ba basic stats. And then on top uh, we will have uh, uh, more uh, like a premium layer where, where you could uh, um, buy some premium, premium features like uh, the thumbnail generation or maybe our Azure integration for uh, adaptive bitrate and bitrate encoding, uh, also password protect. We have the ability uh, for pass password protect uh, separate videos uh, or token access to videos. And on top of that, uh, we are planning to have uh, support and hosting uh, if you want to have some kind of uh, uh, premium, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, like uh, customer specific features uh, to be implemented or, yeah. Uh, and uh, but this is all only the, the the MVP that we have right now, uh, and we have a long back of, uh, backlog of ideas where we can go from now on, uh, and uh, this is what it could look like. We can see the our basic distribution uh, is getting larger and larger, and so here are some ideas that we have. Uh, the one is, uh, for example, just call it transcoding services API. Uh, currently, we are using Azure, but uh, the idea or the perfect uh, the perfect world will be um, to have some kind of a pluggable uh, API to have, for example, uh, plugins for different transcoding services. To say, okay, I want Azure, or I want Bitmovin, or I want maybe also something local like FFmpeg. Um, this will be a big thing to do, and we have some quick wins uh, from Drupal from our beloved Drupal, for example, commenting on videos. This is something like um, uh, pretty straightforward to do. 
uh, and of course combined this with uh, user profiles, uh, with uh, user images uh, like profile images, also uh, views of what I have uploaded, uh, all the things that we know also from YouTube. Uh, also things like uh, ratings and abuse reported, they, they can be very easily implemented with the flag module. Uh, and also per personal playlist. This is also a thing that we have on our um, agenda or what is our idea. And uh, also another thing that we're thinking about is uh, subscriptions, uh, having subscriptions to subscribe uh, either to channels or to users. So if some uh, new video is coming to uh, this channel, I have subscribed, I get notification. Um, or uh, if uh, the author is uploading a new video, I have also getting, uh, I'm also getting a notification on this. Uh, and another thing is, of course, uh, sharing, but not sharing in social media, because we are a little bit in the more in the enterprise uh, world uh, in the in the company, and so the idea would be here to share a video with other users on the platform. And uh, on the premium level, we have uh, some ideas of using machine learning. Uh, there will be we will be using uh, Azure services to have, uh, uh, for example, face recognition. So, for example, if the CEO uh, is speaking, some, uh, having a talk on this video, we will do then, uh, then a face recognition, and then we can do a recommendation of uh, or a list of other videos where the CEO is also um, uh, having talks or something like this. Another thing is to generate. Uh, uh, automatically generate captions from the me from the video, so that the editor doesn't have to put the, to uh, to write them down by themselves. Uh, and we can also then uh, automatically translate those in uh, different languages. So, yeah, the idea for the editor will be only to upload the video, and everything uh, will be there <laughs> automatically and magically. Uh, and another thing also a little bit uh, combined is the uh, recommendation engine um, combined with the machine learning but also to have something like uh, yeah s similar videos like this this is this is the idea uh, we have to uh, of course find the budget to do this uh, and uh, we go to where like uh, we, uh, finding uh, customers and to, yeah this is a, a tricky one this will be the perfect world to do it, and we'll be very happy if we can do it like this, but uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see. We hope that we can do it. Um, yeah, so uh, this is our vision, uh, and uh, yeah, we want uh, now to thank. Thank you for your patience uh, and for the attention, and uh, we are also open for, for your questions. And I have to also show this one. <laughs> Do you already have this uh, Drupal distribution? Does it have a name? Is it no, we don't. Public? We don't have it. This is the plan. <laughs> this is the vision. Uh, this is okay. the vision. Uh, right but now, you have some modules already. Yes. Um, right now we are. Um, we have the stage where the, the whole product right now is not uh, finished. <laughs> So we'll maybe need uh, one or two more sprints, then the, the base features are finished, we can hand it over to the customer and after that we start uh, completing our vision and try to find ways and uh, how, how to provide this distribution. Okay, so you will publish some things on Drupal or <coughs> Yes, that, that's the plan, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, this will be a distribution actually, right? Um, with configuration and some custom modules. And uh, how can we follow you? What's the name of this Drupal distribution? Or? Uh, it's, it's not there right now. Okay. <laughs> right now our, our working name is Video Cloud. <laughs> so okay. maybe it's, it will stay, um, but not to uh, a high Okay, nice work, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys looking for uh, co-contributors to this project? Well, when we are on the stage, <laughs> we're definitely yeah. uh, we will be glad to have uh, people. Well, this is this is also the romantic <laughs> thing of uh, open source, right? Uh, this is also when uh, a customer pays for something that maybe they can also pay for some new features that we can implement, and all of the other customers and all of the open source community can also profit from this.
all uh, techni it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, technical question about uh, the streaming server and the uh, encoding service that you use. Uh, uh, you design your your solution to be compliant with any uh, for, for, uh, formula or uh, with um. The technique behind is uh, to, yes, to, to be most com uh, compatible to, to uh, several <coughs> devices. So that means we are encoding the, the original video files to uh, MPEG Dash and M308 uh, manifests. And um, we are also including like the, the MPEG Dash, then the M3 U8, and after that the um, MP4 file to our player so that um, the mechanism behind can choose what browser are you using, what device are you using, uh, and the user for 99% will get uh, a good video, and after that um, he can, or the, um, the automatism chooses the quality um, basic is the, the bandwidth the user is connected. So we, we try to make it uh, like the um, most uh, compatible way. Internet Explorer now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least Internet Explorer 11 is working perfectly <laughs> right now. Okay. So, thanks a lot. Um, Thank you. Yeah.